It is July 9th and is an update on how the garden is doing. Uh, it's doing pretty well. There you can see the transplanted ostrich ferns that so will get us fiddleheads in the spring. They are all flourishing. Hopefully they'll take over this shady patch. So that's the far away thing. Here we have our new raspberries, three rows, not all of them as well defined as the others, but uh, most of them are leafed out planted this year. They're mostly doing all right. I need more mulch and more stuff like that. that apple tree is doing very well. Not so big, but seems healthy. The um, oats are doing nicely. We actually, you can see lots of oat grain stuff going on. Uh, they're not filled in. I have to We'll have to find out more about what's going on there. Here's an example of some uh, drip hose that I put in. Um, this one is a little splice so that it this does these squash and watermelon um, and those uh, pole bean, green beans at the same time. And um, there's another drip line that's doing this corn, which is starting to knee high by the 4th of July. But not much more than knee high. That's okay. It's miniature corn. Uh, the sunflowers are doing well. The kiwis are very happy and flourishing. Um, just waiting for that pergola. My experiment in trying to root some cuttings, uh, I think, is a total failure. I think all of my cuttings died. The uh, Asparagus and strawberries are doing well. Uh, I need to cover and mulch the and the potatoes. Um, I need to cover and mulch the drip hose so it doesn't fry too much in the sun. That uh, that replacement apricot still dead. I'm pretty sure it's totally dead. This apricot continues to be a champ. There you can see where. All the new raised beds are supposed to go. We still haven't gotten any of them done. We got one assembled but not filled. Um, the garden's doing well. These uh, snow peas have been fantastic, highly prolific. I think it's the Oregon giant. Cucumbers are starting to really take off. Um, the sorrel is really getting well established and starting to take off. The garlic probably will need to be harvesting pretty soon. Uh, the shelling peas gave us, you know, one good bunch, um, but no, they're done for. The lettuce has been fantastic. We keep failing at getting basil to take off because this, this compost soil we have, very good, it seems, mostly, except that it dries out in the top really fast. And even with this row cover, um, it wasn't enough to keep it moist under there. I think they just, all these little seedlings have fried. Uh, the plum is looking good, the cherry's looking good, all these trees are getting hit by Japanese beetles. But uh, hopefully we'll put up some traps and hopefully we'll, they won't get damaged too much. One moment please. And then here we got a nice healthy looking heart nut. One moment please. Uh, the aronias seem to be healthy, that one especially. Ironically, the big one is the dwarf aronia, and the little one is, I think, a Nero. Um, but so be it. Um, and all of the cranberries are really doing very nicely. They all seem happy. The, uh, the persimmon, you know, it's kind of short, but uh, seems to be very healthy and happy. And. Then there's the day lilies. We've been actually eating some of the day lilies. Put them in stir fry the other day. It's delicious. And uh, this honeyberry is, you know, starting off, taking off. It's got a good first year here. And this one, like that, that replacement apricot, uh, just was a dud. Never, never took off. And it's dead. And that's it for the edibles. And uh, I don't know if you. Caught it on here. We have the latest edition. Well, there's that. Other, there's the other heart nut, also looking good. But the uh, the big playset, which uh, may or may not change our lives. And there's the kids and the mess and everything. Yeah.